All right, YouTube, we are back for round two. Uh, beat Bogles in round one. I know from last year's championship, they're all pretty... Yeah. No, like, she was she was just strong, dude. Like, like if you, you could just see it. Like, she was strong. She was stout. She was, like, really good-looking girl that was just, like, had muscles. And she was, like... She, she was a hockey player, you know? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making sure I was going to show up to lab class on time before she whooped my ass. But, so, uh, round one would be Bogles. Lost game one. Kind of an odd game. They just kind of built the queen and didn't, never attacked me. I, I couldn't get my shadows big enough. And, my, and, I, and they lay on me. And my deck, the way that it's configured now, can't beat a turn one lay line in game, with its functional hand in game one. Um, then game two, we sided in the uh, the anti combo stuff, and we won game two and three. Had a really disruptive game three hand. It was a little slow, but ended up getting it. Oh man, I'm coming out of it. He's currently napping. He is doing what he does best. Nap. Forget the magic ring on the puppy. All right, won the die roll. Already doing something right. Mm. So we're three quarters of the way to delirium. I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Well, we're on the play. I can go discard spell, removal spell, and three quarters of the way to delirium. I think this is on a low end, but I'm gonna keep it. It's not great. But we got two pieces of interaction and almost a threat. Best draws would be like, for next turn, we've got four Street Wraith, four Bobbles, Death Shadow, Tarmogoyf. Those would all be good draws. So we have 16 good draws next turn. Um, just more interaction would always be good. Definitely a threat here would be exactly what we needed. I woke up in Chris Brown's body. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go, go to 15. Oh yeah. So, take bird. At least we have a lot of lands. I'm just going to take this bird and then hold abrupt decay for this blood moon. Panza, you don't say. Dude, it's going to happen, Drew. Philly's on the edge of his seat right now. Alright, forest. Karma life. That's what I'm talking about. Um, deal with one of these. It's a really big draw for the home team. Now we could get into a position. We probably still aren't going to let this Stone Rain resolve or this Blood Moon resolve because, like, we want to grow our Karma life, and that'll put two types in. Okay, so. Cycle. Okay, so now I'm just going to attack with the Goyf, play another Goyf. And then next turn, I'll abrupt decay this, and then we can crack for 10. So we're putting on a clock. And if my opponent starts stone raining me, then at least they're not blood moving me. No, I think we're actually pretty good against Ponza there, Sad Mufasa. We, we just get underneath of them. I think we have game. Like, obviously, we're going to lose to some of their nut draws. Like, if they go whatever, they can go turn one. We can't interact very well with whatever that dumb card is. Um, what is that dumb card that they play? 
Utopia Sprawl. We don't interact with Utopia Sprawl that well. Okay, so we get mooned. What's happening? Stone Rain. Okay. I will go home and get stoned. What's our best draw here? Bobble? Bobble? Show me a Mishra's Bobble. The Blood Red Elf could be kind of annoying. Beast Within grows my Tarmogoyf, which is kind of sweet. No plays. All right. So they're going to beast within something. Beast within a token. Our Tarmogoyf now draw step. God, we are just ripping some absolute heat off the top of our library. I'm worried about, like, I guess that they Blood Bright Elf into, like, They were an elf into a tireless tracker that could be annoying. But like the blood red elf on its own is gonna be kind of small ball. I don't really know why I didn't crack my fetch lands. Like something gave me like I something gave me a whatever it is. Like I had uh I had like a feeling that I shouldn't do it, but I can't, I don't really know why. Can't exactly point to it. Couldn't tell you the exact reason why I didn't. Like my gut was just like, don't crack these. All right, gross coif. Excuse me. And now this Blood Red Elf is on Block Town. All right, nice, nice deck. Okay, so this is kind of a difficult deck to sideboard for in my, to what I've seen. I think I want this. I do like this to help pick off like mana dorks and deal with mom and pop after sideboard. I like battle rages and I like stubs. I don't really like collective brutality on the draw because They've already done their thing with their mana dork. For boarding out, we can cut one of these. I want all my discard, I want my decays, I want my tomahawks. I could shave a traverse and bring a fatal push back in because I need I'm gonna bring a fatal push in because I do need to like impact there. Look at that. Magic Cheerio with the subscription. Thank you very much. Looking good, Drew. Look at you. Well, I hope you enjoy your emotes there, buddy. Look at that. Filling up the tip jar, baby. Yeah, we don't really need to be that threat, like, because all we really need is, like, one creature to win. I could also see boarding out, like, some number of Liliana the Veils on the draw. Yeah, I'm going to cut a couple of these and bring in these Brutalities. Because, like, Liliana is just kind of small ball, and I can't cast it with a Blood Moon in play. This one is better, I think, because it actually can like win the game for me and it can pick off little the little chump blockers so maybe this is maybe this one's bad too hey i appreciate it man i appreciate you maybe i should just cut them all and bring in the brutalities and just have like a million ways to interact like take your stone rain yeah i'm talking myself into it all right and now, now we've just transitioned to a completely lean deck. We probably could even cut another land and bring in a fourth brutality if we really wanted to. Like I cut like a bloodstain mire, 
and then we just go down to 17 and just be like, yeah, I think actually I like that. We're on the draw. We are on the draw. Which land's our worst land? I want wooded foothills. Yeah, well, we're on the draw, so we're gonna see another card. So we can lean out. That makes sense. Like I, I, Archmage, it makes me feel better to know that you are fed over subscribing to me. So like, if it comes between subscribing and eating, I certainly hope that you eat. Ooh, we have movement, but back to sleep. <clears throat> that could be a lot of ass. Hey, there you go, Farby. Much appreciated. Look at that. We got we had three subscribers today. Holy shit! Filling up the tip jar on my birthday. All right, this hand's very good. You're probably right there, a lot of ass. Probably should have just kept another land in play. That's why I didn't want to cut a mana producing land. I figured the fetch lands were fine, but now you're probably right. That's probably a little too greedy of me. So we're a little bit weak to Utopia Sprawl again. Like, it's tough for us to interact with Utopia Sprawl. I'm getting hungry now. No, come on, Arbor Elf. Okay, nice. All right, so now we can do the, the Scry game. We can build our own op for free. I woke up in Chris Brown Friday. Now my opponent is tanking on my upkeep while we are tapped out. Yeah, I know. I've I went to a uh, nice. So now I actually can just go basic, which is gas. Blue Delta. All right, let's 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 not get greedy. I'd, I'd be willing to bet if I can cast my spells, I'm gonna win this game. Swap. It is nice. It is sweet that this deck can go turn two Bloodbraid Elf with that draw with that opening. And here we're just gonna play Tomadoyf. Ooh. Battle range. I'm gonna do enough damage to myself to get a Death Shadow at some point. I just want to make sure I can play magic. Magic sports and puppies, dude. That's that's all we need. So now we go get Blood Crypt and Thought Seize our opponent. Jeez. Yeah, now I'm off of that. Now I'm just going to cast a Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf's also in a pretty sweet spot in the metagame right now because there's just less fatal pushes running around. There are more lightning bolts. I'm gonna take the dog out in between rounds here. Because he's up there drinking water. So which means he's he's generating a pee. Opponent is dead next turn. If he takes out my black source, I can traverse for a land also. If I really need to. I just love this deck. This deck is so lean, 
so there's the ability to go over the top with Blood Red Elf or go underneath decks with Teamer Battle Rage and Stubborn Denial. Well, okay, so you, is it is it like Nicolich's Jeskai deck or we're we talking like Spell Colors there? Magic Hero. Nico, that's just a tough matchup. Like I really, I would rely on Blood Bright Elf a lot. What do we got? Tireless Tracker. All right. So let's see a sweet little block from our opponent. And if they block, I think I'm just gonna decay the bird. If they don't block, they're dead. Nice. Tough game. All right. I'm gonna go bring my uh I'm gonna go take my puppy out and then I will be back here in a quick second. Alright, buddy. Come on, pal.
on everybody. Can I get a set? Show me, give me a set, give me a set, set. Hey, hey, give me a set. I swear this is the worst stream ever. You are you you speak facts, Rafi. You speak facts. <laughs> 